Hey guys, welcome to my 16 week pregnancy update. I am just bumping along. I don't know, I guess we'll just get into it in this video. I never know like what to say after life. I'm like, oh, welcome to my update. Like, what do I say next? I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> so yes, I'm 16 weeks. Let's find out about baby. So I have my pregnancy app open on my phone. The baby is the size of an avocado. So it's pretty big. It says you'll probably start feeling your baby move between now and 22 weeks. I think I felt the baby move. I mean, of course it's like little twitches and fluttering. It's so hard to know because I swear it's like once a day, but I want to say I've started to feel it. I don't know. I had a scare the other day. It was actually just yesterday because my boy, I have this like little Doppler that I use to listen to the baby. It's like super cheap. Um, but the boys love it because they like to listen to their own hearts with it. They think it's so fun. So they like to listen to their hearts and then I try to find the baby's heart. But with two boys and they don't have a lot of patience, like I was not finding the baby's heart and I was like freaking out about it because for some reason I just could not find it and then of course that freaked me out. So then later that day when the boys were watching the show I came back up here myself and I found the baby's heartbeat no problem. So note to self, do not um, do that with the boys because it's just too stressful. But I swear I felt the baby move, but I don't know. Um, it also says that I am most likely have a pregnancy glow <laughs> in the second trimester, but I do not feel that. I do feel like my hair feels softer. I was just noticing that the other day. Um, but my face is still breaking out so bad. I have a huge zit like right here and I have a big one right here on the side of my temple. I'm getting acne still all over. A couple weeks ago I got one like on my leg, which was the weirdest thing ever. So I don't feel like I'm having the pregnancy glow. In terms of the baby, the skin is translucent. Um, hair follicles are starting to form on the scalp and the baby's heart is now pumping 25 quarts of blood each day. I don't think it's like anything crazy this week, it's just continuing to develop. Now normally at 16 weeks this is when I would go to the doctor because I go every four weeks um, but I'm actually a week behind so I will go next week when I'm 17 weeks to my next doctor's appointment. So be sure to tune in for my 17 week updates because I will have an update from the doctor for you. I don't think it'll be anything exciting like pictures of the baby but um, we will get a hear the heartbeat and so I'll have a new number for how fast the heart is beating. So that'll be exciting. So make sure to stay tuned for that. As for me um, this week, I don't know, with my nausea, I can't tell if it's going away or not. So I mostly feel good all day. And then it's usually just like right when I'm about to go to sleep is when the nausea gets bad. And I don't know if it's because I'm taking these pills and they make my stomach upset and that's what's causing it or if it's just like I'm still nauseous and it's like weaning off really slowly. I'm terrified to like stop taking the pills because I'm terrified that like the moment I do, the next day I'm gonna be so nauseous. Now I shouldn't because I'm like 16 weeks now and like I should be fine and the nausea should be gone but I'm just like terrified. So I don't know where I'm gonna like get the guts to stop taking the Unisom and the B6. I still take it every night religiously. So we'll see. There are a couple times here and there where like I'll have nausea in the middle of the day just randomly. So I don't know. I don't know if the nausea is gone or not. I do find myself wanting to eat a lot more. Like I'm a lot more hungry. I'll have snacks at night now, which like never used to do that. I have noticed like if I do, like sometimes I might eat dinner a little later than what I normally do. Okay, sorry, my son wanted something. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I'm eating more, um, but if I, eat dinner later than what I usually do, I will notice that I'll feel a little bit nauseous then. But 
cravings wise, I'm really not craving anything. And, and I'm really not like craving sweets either, which is not usually like me. Like ice cream, I'm like, yeah. We have donuts and it's like, yeah, I'll eat them, but like I don't have to. So I don't know, I'm not as into sweets. Or maybe I'm just trying to tell myself that. I don't know. We still don't know the gender of baby. Um, we'll probably know next month at the anatomy scan. So stay tuned for that. Um, other symptoms though, oh my gosh, I've been getting Charlie horses. Maybe just like two so far, but I swear I never get Charlie horses except for when I'm pregnant. And it always happens in the middle of the night. It'll just wake me up out of a sleep and all of a sudden I'll just feel it starting in my feet. And I used to, or not in my feet, in my legs. And I used to never know what to do with those. I thought, well, you just have to deal with it. Maybe like mas massage the leg. And I don't know where I read this, but I found out that when you feel a Charlie horse coming on, you're just supposed to flex your foot. So like the best is if you could like get up and and stand up and stand on your foot and force it to flex. But if you can flex while laying down, that works too. And then it almost always prevents the Charlie horse from like becoming really bad. So it's not too bad, it's just more annoying. <laughs> so I have noticed that um, I've been peeing a lot more, which is like, duh. <laughs> I do feel like my belly feels bigger. Let's see if we can like, I'm wearing like a really baggy sweater, but if you can see here, I'll, um, I'm wearing my maternity jeans. Okay, I'm wearing maternity jeans, so they have like this stretchy part, so here you go. I just feel like it's bigger. Like if I wear a tight shirt, like you can totally tell there's something there. And even with my baggy shirts now, like you can start to see a bump there now. So it's getting harder and harder to cover up. Not that I want to, but I'm still like in that gray area when people look at me and they're like, are you pregnant or are you just fat? So I do feel big though. Um, I'm still pretty tired, but I have noticed that the coffee has been helping a lot more. It used to be like, I would drink coffee. I think I said this in my last video. I would drink coffee and even then like at 9 p.m. I would be like falling asleep. Lately, I've actually feel like I've had some energy, um, and so I've been able to stay out till 11, 11.30, and like have no problem. Now, getting up in the morning is really hard for me to do, but I'm um, going to sleep, I seem to be able to stay up longer, which is really nice. I don't feel like I'm like exhausted by 8, 9 p.m. It also could be because Anthony and I just went on a trip just him and I for a couple days and so I'm feeling like rejuvenated from that we got to sleep in every day so maybe that's helping too I don't know but they do say in the second trimester like you get all your energy back and you feel your best so I do I do feel like that's true oh the other day my back like randomly hurt it was just for like maybe 10 minutes but like I noticed when I was like bending down to get something like my back was hurting so bad like and it was only when I would bend down to pick something up and that was like so weird to me and it only happened once and it was only for like 10 minutes so I don't know if that was like pregnancy related or maybe I just like tweaked something but I literally felt like an old lady like I had to like brace my back as I was like bending down. It was so weird. Normally during pregnancy, I might get like a nosebleed once or twice. Again, that only ever happens when I'm pregnant. Has not happened this time. Also, I feel like in the previous two pregnancies, um, I had a lot of like saliva in my mouth, like when I would brush my teeth in my first two pregnancies, like in the beginning. It was really hard because I had so much like extra saliva. I was like gagging myself. This time I don't feel like I have that problem either. Um, I have had like a congested nose, but I think it's from the cold that I'm still trying to get over that the boys gave me. I mean, I just feel kind of meh. <laughs> like, I don't know. Do I feel great? Like, I guess I've been feeling better. I'm hopeful that the nausea is going away. I really should stop the pills and just see how it is, but I'm like terrified because I hate being nauseous. So I don't know, we'll see if I get the guts to do it one day. Because I hate taking those pills at night. Um, ever since I had the one get stuck in my throat and then it made me puke, like I've just been so scared every night that it's gonna happen again. And it's been so bad that in, the, in my first two pregnancies, I was able to take like 
pop like gel um, pregnancy vitamins and just like swallow those. And this time up until now, I have not been able to do that because it's just another pill I have to swallow. So I've been doing the chewable gummy ones, which I think are okay, but I think towards the end, you're not supposed to be taking those because they don't have iron in them or something like that. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I've, I don't know if it's in my head or if this pregnancy has just been different, but yeah, I've been having to chew my vitamins and I dread taking the two pills I have to every night, so. Hopefully I can stop doing that soon because I am tired of doing it. But I think that's gonna be it for this week. Not too much to share, but like I said, make sure to tune in for my 17 week update because I will have um, news from the doctor and just how that went. I don't think it'll be anything crazy, but just an update in general. It's always fun to go and hear baby and touch base with the doctor. And I think at this next appointment, I will be scheduling my uh, anatomy scan because that usually happens at like 20 weeks and I'm almost there. I'm almost halfway through my pregnancy, which is crazy. I feel like it's gone fast. Probably because I'm chasing around two kids and working a part-time job and everything else. So yeah, that'll be exciting. I'm gonna schedule for the anatomy scan and I'm hopeful that Anthony, my husband, can come with me and then we can find out the gender of this baby together. So I'm still hopeful that it's a girl, but I'm bracing myself that if it's a boy, it is what it is. So we will see, but I still have a couple more weeks. I plan to do like a old wives tales gender predictions. I did that with both the boys. I think with Gray it was right and with Porter it was wrong, but I feel like with Porter I kind of tried to get girl results because I wanted it to be a girl so bad. So I feel like with this time I'm just going to try to be more neutral about it. And if it's a boy result, that is what it is. And if it's a girl result, then it is what it is. So. Uh, stay tuned for that video. I plan to make that soon as well. Let me know if you have any favorite um, why, old wives tales predictions down below. Um, I know there's like the Chinese um, calendar gender predictor. There is like if the dad's gaining weight or not, depends on the gender. And then there's stuff you can do with urine, like with baking soda and red cabbage, which those ones like never work for me. Um, and then there's like the ring test. So I, I feel like I've done them all before, but I'll look and see if there's any new ones and I'll make that video for you guys. So thank you so much for watching my video. Um, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.